Hello everybody. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video on the Age Friendly at Ross Common study funded through the AgeWell Collaboratory. It's myself, Dee Nicholas, an architecture design and urbanism associate professor and um, writer's room and their creative writing group called Tripod. Um, the work started in April 2022 with an internal um, design process to figure out exactly what, uh, what, we, what we wanted to look at and how we wanted to look at it. The project team is myself, Dee Nicholas, and Rachel Wenrick, who is the um, founding director of the Drexel Writers Room. Um, we are seeking to work with all the stakeholders to document the prioritized changes to the physical landscape and we will be developing a report um, to be added to, to, the, to the community guide that we already have underway. Our group, uh, Second Stories Collective, is actually dedicated to creating a network of intergenerational spaces, including co-living spaces um, or co-housing and um, creative uh, community shared spaces throughout Mantua Powhatan and um, on the Drexels campus. <clears throat> Our process has uh, this following research tri uh, timeline, which, um, which calls out that we uh, spent the summer continuing our exploratory research collecting and surveying the site. So um, we actually have now drawn the building and we have um, some, um, some assets related to that. Then we did our observational study this fall, which I'm gonna talk a little bit about and we developed a scorecard from the relevant literature and measures that we could find. In the winter, we'd like to do participatory, we will be doing participatory session with a tripod group and um, continuing with expert interview and analysis and literature review. And then in the spring, we will be um, suggesting and implementing changes based on our findings and then studying how the group um, sees, the, sees those changes. <clears throat> we kicked off in April with a design research symposium um, that featured the community thinking about their space creatively and then Kia Witherspoon and um, uh, Sequoia Hunter Shuje uh, came from Determined by Design to talk about design equity and um, group the tripod group interviewed them and that was included in Anthology 8. So one of the first phases of the work that we did <clears throat> uh, in the spring and summer was to look at the relevant re literature and the relevant uh, measures and checklists and integrate them into a scorecard um, for intergenerational creative spaces. As I've said, we developed a scorecard to understand better how spaces can meet some of the um, some of the the benchmarks of aging in place. Things like um, tripping hazards or signage, um, anything that we could sort of give a score and an understanding of how it might affect how people move through the space. Um, then we did an observational analysis of Ross Commons and which is where Tripod and, and um, Writer's Room live and we actually did um, uh, two, two types of observation here. We did um, one that to sort of study how folks are moving through the space and where they're sort of landing. And then we did a second, which is on the next slide that sort of talks about how people spread out in the space. Both of these are based on um, an observational technique by Bacos from the 80s that is actually widely used and um, is incredibly valuable part of our, um, part of our process. Um, so this is the uh, how are people spreading out question and the previous one was how are people moving through the, the space and settling. And we'll be using this um, uh, repeated observation to, to lead directly to recommendations about how the space um, might be adjusted or what additions we might um, suggest. And then we're also working on a series of expert interviews. I started speaking to some folks on campus who are experts in this area, um, and we're going to branch out regionally in this as well. So some of our current outcomes include um, the scorecard that I showed you. Um, the observational studies leading into um, what we think is going to be a really in-depth report on intergenerational creative space. In addition, we also received the AIA Upton, Upjohn grant, which is a $15,000 grant to continue this work, to expand it, and then also to pre um, prepare materials to bring back into um, a professional community who are working in this area. And this winter, we're actually doing on January 20th, 20th 
Um, there's a rank and design of sprint happening with Liz Sanders um, from Ohio State University. She's doing a um, uh, um, participatory process based on her work, which is called Make Tools. And um, Writer's Room is on uh, Second Story Collective. We'll have a table there, hopefully. And um, everybody, all are invited to join on that. And then um, we will continue um, to uh, report back on our findings and um, continue to work in this area. And we're really excited about um, this work. Thank you.